Hey there, so I went a little crazy on Black Friday and decided to upgrade my entire dinner set. Uh, I ended up choosing this Crate and Barrel set from uh, their line called Marin. This is the white color. Uh, I wanted to just do a quick unboxing. I actually ended up unboxing everything. It came packed really nicely. Um, I ordered online and they packed everything up in boxes, packed really well with lots of bubble wrap and other packaging. Um, so that all came really nicely prepared. Nothing was broken or chipped when I unboxed it. Um, I ended up buying almost the entire line. So I just wanted to give a quick review of how it looks so far, just out of the box, um, each of the different pieces. Um, some of them are definitely a lot larger or smaller than I had anticipated. I had looked at some of the, the pieces in the store, but they didn't have the entire line when I was there. So to start off with, uh, so these are the smallest bowls. This is called, I think the dip bowl in the Marin set. It's quite pretty. They've got like this kind of rusticy brown edge, um, whereas the rest of it is this nice kind of off-white, um, even color. They are made in Portugal, which is nice. They feel kind of heavy and solid to the touch. Um, and they've got an unfinished bottom edge, but they do stack really nicely with all the pieces. Um, so this is the, the dip bowl. It's kind of fits into the palm of your hand. A little small, but nice for kind of snacks or dips or maybe even a little bit of ice cream. Could go along this. Then this one is the white mini bowl from the Marin line. You can see it's kind of a tall shape. Um, with a small, smaller bottom. Um, this actually would be a really good ice cream bowl, I think. Um, or maybe other kind of snacks could go in here. So that's the mini bowl. Then they had the cereal bowl. So cereal bowl. I like these also because they've got kind of this uneven edge. They're not perfectly symmetrical. It looks kind of handmade. Um, so to compare the size of the last bowl to this one, kind of how, how big they end up being. Uh, and then this one, <laughs> these are the, oh my God, they're so heavy. Let's pick up one. These are the meal bowls, which I thought, you know, the photo that they showed was I think a picture of ramen, which makes sense because these are huge. Um, definitely a really big size bowl. I don't think I'll be using these to actually eat out of I think they're kind of a better serving bowl size, but definitely if you have like a really big ramen dish or maybe yeah, a deep, a really deep soup that you want to have in a deep bowl, that would be nice. I ordered six of these with to match the six that I got for all the other bowls, but because I don't think I'll be using them as a, a meal bowl like they're intended, I'll probably return a couple of them and just use them as serving bowls. They'd be really pretty to put like a big salad in. Um, I mean, you could actually eat an individual salad in this too, but probably not for our purposes. So mostly be using those for serving. And then these are actually my favorite. This was the low bowl and they're really pretty. You can see it's got maybe uh, two or three inches of height. Uh, this looks like it'd be perfect for pasta or for stir fry. Probably most of our meals will actually end up being in this bowl. I really like eating out of kind of a low bowl. So to compare kind of the, the diameter there, it's quite a bit bigger than the cereal bowl. And then this was the meal bowl. So a little bit bigger than the meal bowl, almost the same size as the diameter, but just a lot lower. And then the plates are also really beautiful. So again, they still have that kind of rustic-y, uneven edge. This is the salad plate. And then the dinner plate like this. Um, also kind of nice and heavy and feels strong. Um, those are kind of the comparison for the salad and dinner plate. One thing I did want to mention was the, the bowls all feel really hefty and kind of with a good weight, except for these mini bowls, which do feel a little bit thinner. They're not quite as thick as these other bowls, even as thick as like the dip bowl. The dip bowl has a kind of nice hefty weight to it. This one's a little bit thinner, uh, so we'll see how it holds up in the dishwasher and regular use. Um, yeah, I'm excited to replace all my dishes with these. 
we'll see how they turn out with some use. Maybe I'll do a follow-up in a few weeks or months when we uh, actually see if they chip in the dishwasher or anything. The reviews kind of were mixed between most people had a really good experience um, using them, but some people just say they chip easily. So we'll see with our use how that turns out. Yeah, thanks for watching.